Oggi tra i farfaloni amoroso, notte giorno di torno girano, delle belle torbando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor, delle belle torbando al riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor. Hello, I'm Pastor Roy Olson, talking to you from the beautiful courtyard here at Apavia Ministries in the village of Peștera, Romania. I'd like to talk to you today a little bit about geographic location. Where you are geographically is important. Adam and Eve, they were placed in a very specific place because place has important. That was where they belonged to accomplish what they were put there to do. And when they failed in doing that, they were escorted out of that place. Place for them was important. We remember Abram before he became Abraham. God said to him, it's time to change your geographic location. You've been in Haran long enough. Now it's time to go to the land that I will show you. And of course we know that became the promised land or the land of promise. Why? Because geographic location was important for his future, for the will of God, and so on. Then we go over to Moses, go down Moses, way down in Egypt land, tell old Pharaoh, let my people go. Where? Through the wilderness to the land of promise, milk and honey. Why? Their time in Egypt was done. It was time to get out of there and go into another geographic location. And indeed, the transition time from one to the other was long and difficult, but obviously well worth it. We go on to the prophet, that great man, the Tishbite, Elijah. And at one point, after having prophesied to King Ahab about the lack of rain for three and a half years, God told him, you better go hide out. Uh, near a brook, the brook Cherith, that is before Jordan. We assume that to be the Jordan River. And there you'll have water from the brook and even the birds of the air, the ravens, will bring your, your meat to you. And so there he was hiding out for a while. Where? in the place where God sent him. Geography counts, it's important. And when that, those resources began to dry up, it was an indication, it's time to move on, time to change your ge geographic location. And it, the geographic location to which he was sent was not exactly attractive or ideal, I would assume, because it was to a widow's house. And uh, she wasn't exactly rich. As a matter of fact, all she had was some oil and some flour to make a Middle Eastern kind of pancake. But unknown to him and to her, with the blessing of God, it became an unending source of sustenance for him. Why? He left where he was comfortable. And he went to another place that didn't look exactly ideal, but turned out to be beautiful, full with provision for him. We move on to Jesus. There was a tax problem. They owed taxes. They didn't have any money. And Jesus did not tell them to go look in their pockets, their purse, their bank account. No, there was another location where the resources were. An odd location, but indeed, 
the location that mattered. Go to the geographic location where there is a fish. Open the mouth. There is the provision for your taxes. We've heard of missionaries who have been in places with very little fruitfulness. They've worked very hard and very long, but with very little fruit. And uh, then they changed their geographic location and uh, they became incredibly fruitful. The same people, the same type of approach, and we would call it ministry today, but what changed was the geographic location. Some of you may be contemplating or being forced to think of a geographic location change. Well, you know, change is necessary. And your place of comfort, the place where you know, you, you know what is expected of you, you know what to expect, and so that can be a, a place of comfort. But it can also be a, a, a trap, an obstacle to moving on. Yes, fear involves change, it involves uh, the unknown, but sometimes it's just absolutely necessary. Uh, Jesus, when he wanted to have a last meal, we call it the Last Supper, he had a place in mind a geographic location, and indeed uh, they prepared it in that special place. And when God wanted to pour out his spirit in a unique way, in a new way upon the church, what did he do? Jesus told him to go into a geographic location, an upper room in Jerusalem. Why? Geographic location is important. It, uh, it changes things. Uh, in, indeed, uh, the apostle, the great apostle Paul, he, he had an idea. He wanted to head into uh, Asia. He had a heart for Asia. And the, the Spirit of God indicated to him that that was not his place at this time. That was not the appropriate geographic location for him to go to. And so he accepted, sometimes accepting a no or a closed door is okay because we have something better than a traffic helicopter in the sky to warn us of problems ahead. We have God himself. And he's able to direct our steps to avoid issues or to confront issues as uh, he directs. And it wasn't long after that where not only was he, uh, before this, told where not to go, he was giving directions which he understood to head towards Macedonia. He had a dream. A man from Macedonia saying, come on over and help us. Yes, geography is important. I have personal experience. I have been a pastor in the state of New York, different locations, uh, uh, and uh, by uh, circumstances, I was forced to make some geographic changes that weren't exactly pleasant, and the, the transition was extremely difficult, beyond words to describe, but it was worth it a thousand times over. It was worth it, and for you, my dear friend, contemplating a change, in your geographic location, allow God, who loves you far more than you think he does or can comprehend, he has a plan, and it may involve a change in geography. Geographic location is important and can make a deep, great difference in your life. Thanks for listening. My name is Roy, and until next time, God bless you. Goodbye.
Thank you.